It's a big money issue for Baltimore City's Public Works employees. They say they haven't been paid a proper paycheck all year long. WJZ is live tonight. Paul Gessler has what city leaders are saying about its new payroll system and why DPW is having issues with this. Paul. Yeah, Rick, this is so frustrating for many of the DPW workers. These are the, the men and women who pick up our trash and recycling. They fix the water lines. They work the treatment plants. But they say they haven't gotten their paychecks. Well, if they have, they haven't been right for weeks. I thought it was a joke, and when I first looked at it, I thought they was playing a game. I thought I was on TV or so let's make a joke. City water employee Trent Cunningham shows us the $2.10 paycheck dated January 15th. We have guys here, including myself, that haven't been paid in over a month. Dozens of Public Works employees Friday outside City Hall want answers. It's almost February. What, I mean, what, what are people supposed to do? What I'm going to tell the mortgage people, what I'm going to tell the bill collectors, period, what I'm going to tell the car insurance people. The paycheck issues come amid the city modernizing its payroll system with a shift away from paper timesheets. This is a citywide issue, not this DPW issue. Police and firefighters had the same issue earlier this month, and Mayor Scott promised a fix. That people not getting paid for their work is not acceptable. That people have to be made whole. And ever since they came up with that work day, it's been nothing but chaos with the city. People only getting 30 hours and supposed to have 80 hours. Cleveland Shields says pay rates are wrong and nobody has gotten paid overtime or COVID stipends. They don't value the ones that's out here on the ground every day, the ones that's, that's out here doing the jobs that a lot of people wouldn't do. All we want is an honest pay. After more than a day of trying to get answers from city officials, the mayor's office finally got back to us late tonight, acknowledging what they are calling multiple issues with the workday system, saying they expect all DPW workers will receive checks next week for unpaid hours and overtime. Reporting live at 5 tonight, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.